The Game of Desire is my brand new book that is now available everywhere that books are sold. It is the number one dating book of summer 2019. It was dubbed by Apple Books as one of the best books of July. And it is the story of how six down on love, short end of the stick daters turned their lives over to my five phase strategy to see if they could manifest the life that they truly desired. Okay, so from April to now, my true supporters have heard me talk obsessively about this book, but now I want you to hear directly from the women that the game of desire impacted the most. I really have to get into the mindset of Courtney, you are dateable, someone's going to want you and they're gonna want you for the right reasons. That's the hardest concept for me to swallow. Do you know what you're doing? It feels good. I've been, y'all, I went to Puerto Rico. About to get flewed out to Las Vegas twice. <laughs> I'm ready to graduate from dating casually and finally meeting someone that I can have a healthy long-term relationship with. The craziest thing that um, happened in the last six months is that I started dating the man that I wanted the most. Um, so I'm looking to enter into a mutually beneficial relationship, one where I am receiving as much as I am giving. If that person happened to be Matt Barnes or look like him, that would be a plus. Like, I didn't think it was attractive to be, you know, a young, single mom like um, you really screwed that up um so it wasn't until shan told me like you know why don't you use this um why don't you speak more about it and and i didn't realize how ashamed i was of it and it's it's really nothing to be ashamed of like i raised an amazing kid and he loves me and he's funny like me i did that I'm gonna get better. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at this whole dating thing, at this whole like making connections with other people thing. I'm fucking awesome now. Like, I really feel like I am in control of this whole like dating, flirting thing. I could turn it off, I can turn it on, and like I know who I want when I want them. And you know, I'm still in contact with London Alex. I still have guys all through my DMs and Bumble. Yeah, I have a hard time just staying in touch with people that, you know, I don't really know very well. And so my dreams of dating are a little unrealistic. I don't want to be that person I was a year ago. I don't want to feel those same stresses, anxieties, and just that unknowing within myself about who I am as a dater. And now at this point, I've had an intimate connection with a woman for months. I'm very comfortable in seducing people. All right, so you may be wondering if this book is for you. So I'm gonna lay it out there. This is who I wrote the book for. Are you the go-to individual? Are you the intimacy expert of your own life and maybe even in your own circle? If so, this book is for you. It's gonna arm you with a bunch of information, crazy resources, and tons of very, very interesting advice you can give to others. Number two, are you frustrated with the current dating landscape? Are you exhausted from swiping, from waiting, from being ghosted? If so, this book empowers you to get into the driver's seat of your love life and it is for you. Number three, do you want more magnetism in your life? Do you want people to be drawn to you? Do you want them to see you for all that you have to offer? Not just physically, not just romantically, but as an incredible human being, as a light that everyone is drawn to. Do you want to know how to bring your light out and draw others into it? If so, this book was written for you. And finally, are you nosy as hell? Do you wanna know all the drama that happens when you force seven strangers into a small apartment for an entire summer? Do you wanna know all the things that go down when people put themselves out of their comfort zone and all the ridiculous and heartbreaking and heartwarming and just human moments that result? Because if so, this book was written for you. And Shan basically read me. <laughs> for Phil, but in a professional way, shocked the shit out of me. That was my wake-up call. 
yeah, I would want to date me. You know what I mean? So I think that's something that I learned. This guy and this guy was interested. And even when I was talking to the other guy, the other guy was still staring. So I was like, eh, you can. Mm. I had my goals were completely different. Like I wanted to be in a serious relationship. Um, I wanted to be in love. You know, I wanted the fantasy. And now like I'm just having so much fun being single, my objective has changed because I've got a business to run. Dating does go into your career. It does go into your friend life. It goes into every aspect of your life without you even realizing it. Because I always act like everything's fine and I give enough answers just to give get by and just to go through this course. But she saw through that bullshit and that really, that got me. And even after we got the phone, I really thanked her because it kind of goes to what I was saying I need to be seen. I don't want to cry right now. I actually felt like I was seen by someone. When you take that step towards your best, most connected, vibrant, awesome, sexy, cool, flirtatious, and confident you by buying a copy of The Game of Desire via paperback or ebook or audiobook, if you upload your proof of purchase to my website, you immediately get access to the color guide specifically designed for The Game of Desire by our style expert, Talia Macedo, that will completely transform your wardrobe without you having to buy one extra thing. In addition, you get access to the private podcast and notifications on when live events are happening first.